Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over a little differential calculus. This uh, calculus is, uh, you know, out of uh, 180 points for paper one and paper two, you might see 20 points on calculus, so pretty important. Um, so if, um, you know, if I drew, uh, you know, a parabola here, y equals s squared, what we're, um, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to find the derivatives. Okay, and what, what a derivative is, is a derivative is the gradient at any point on, um, uh, on a function, okay, that's not linear. So, like, let's look here. So, if you looked at the line tangent here, um, you know, if we drew that out there, you know, the gradient there would be zero, the horizontal line. Now, if, you know, if you did it right here, the gradient would be, you know, positive, and if you did it right here, you know, the gradient is a negative. I guess the point the point I'm trying to make here is that you know the gradient's going to change based on where the function is. Now what we do is we you know we take what's called the derivative, and it's you know dy, um, and it's not over dx, it's um, by dx. It's not the fraction, okay? and you also you know might see it written like that. Okay, um, so what? How do you take the derivative? Okay, well it's pretty easy. All you like if we had y equals um, x squared here. You know, all you have to do is uh, multiply the exponent by the coefficient. Now, the coefficient here is going to be 1. Um, so, you know, 2 times 1 is 2, and then just take 1 off here. So it would be uh, 2x. So that should, nothing should be here. So this is basically the equation for the gradient. So, like, if we went back to our example here, you know, if x equals 0, you know, if x equals 0, well, then if we plug that in, you know, to here, um, you know, uh, 2 times 0 is 0. So that's our gradient right there, um, is 0. Now let's say the point here is x equals 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. So the gradient there is 4. Um, and then, you know, let's say that's negative 2. So, you know, 2 times negative 2 equals negative 4. And, you know, you see, so it's pretty cool. It tells you, you know, what the gradient of a line tangent is going to be at any point along um, this function, okay? So let, let's move on and, and do a problem like this and see how they do it on a paper two problem. Okay, so if we look at this problem, it says the diagram shows a sketch of the function f of x equals 4x to the third minus 9x squared minus 12x uh, plus 3. You can kind of see some markings here. I messed this up when I did it the first time, so oops. Um, write down the values of x where the graph of f of x intersects the x-axis. Okay, so what they're looking for, they're looking for these. This is a cubic. It's going to cross three times. Um, okay, now the way you do this is you, you use your calculator for this. It, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just go to, you know, apps, poly root find, um, apps, poly simultaneous, poly root finder. Um, make sure your order is three because there's it, it's to the third power. Go to next. Enter in your coefficients. So four, negative nine, negative 12, and three and then just solve. And you get your three answers right there. Okay, so, you know, I wrote these answers down to the right here. Um, so, you know, those, those values of x, you know, correspond to here, 3.13, negative 1.0.28. Okay, so that, that's pretty straightforward. You just use your calculator. Now, find the derivative um, of f of x. Okay, now in this case, um, so, you know, the, what we want to do here is we just want to, so we're going to do 3 times 4, which is 12, and then just take 1 away from the exponent, so it's going to be 2. Okay, then we'll do this. 2 times negative 9 is negative 18, okay, and then we'll take 1 away from the exponent, so it's just going to be x. And then this is, you know, if it's just x by itself, it's, you know, 1 times negative 12, so that's just negative 12. And then, you know, this is going to be 0. So this is our derivative right here, and this is going to give us the gradient of any, um, you know, point on the uh, the function of a line tangent to the function. Okay, so um, all right. So let's say let's find the value of the local maximum. Okay, now there's two ways to do this. This is paper two, so I'm going to show the work. Um, you can also find this on a calculator. Okay, so if you look at lines of local minimums and local maximums, you know the gradient here of these lines that are tangent is going to be zero. Okay, so what we can do is we can make, you know, the derivative here equal to zero and solve. And that's going to give us our x value. Okay, 
So um, again, we'll go back to Pauli um, uh, simultaneous two, okay? And you know, if we bring bring that up, we can go back to main Pauli root finder. You know, in this case, we're going to do a second order um, because it's a quadratic, and then we just need to solve it. So we'll do 12, negative 18, and 12. So this is going to give us our x values. Uh, whoops, what did I do? Poly root finder, I did something wrong. Next, 12. Oh, it's negative 12. Oops. On the bottom, so you gotta be careful. Like I got no real roots, um, so I made a mistake. But that's all right. You just work through it. Happens. Boom. Okay. Good. So two and negative one. So you know x equals two and uh, negative one half. Okay. So what they're saying here is that you know the x coordinates here would be obviously negative one half, and then the x coordinate here, you know, if you were to go down here, would be two. Now, they want to find the local maximum. Well, that's the, the y value. So we just have to sub, you know, negative one half into here. So if we did f of negative one half, you know, and then just you know, sub it in four times negative one half to the third power plus, or excuse me, minus nine, negative one half squared, minus 12, negative one half, and plus, you can enter this all in the calculator. I'd write it out. The answer is 6.25. I won't waste your time showing you on the calculator. Okay, so your local maximum is 6.25. Now, if you um, want to do this on the calculator, okay, now the problem with paper two is if you don't show your work, you're not going to get full credit. Um, you'll get three out of four marks. Um, so it's kind of up to you if you want to do it or not. Um, so let's quit out of here. And if I go to y equals, I'm going to enter in you know, 4x to the third, you know, minus 9x squared, minus 12x plus 3. And I'll graph this and see what it looks like here. Whee! Okay. Um, so, you know, okay, so what I, I should really kind of, um, I can make this smaller, but it's fine. Um, anyway, so let, we can calculate the maximum. The maximum is right here. So all you have to do is do second calculate and find maximum right there. Okay, and so you, you see the little cursor up there. We'll go, okay, you go a little bit to the left. It says left bound. We'll go to the left of the vertex. And then we'll say right bound. So you move a little to the right. And then you guess, and you get negative 0.5 and 6.25. Okay, so that's one way to do it on the calculator. If you just write 6.25, you only get three out of four points. But, I mean, that's a choice you have to make. This is a lot of work. Um, and, it, you, know, if you, you know, you might want to make a strategy move there and sacrifice one point and just do it on the calculator. It's up to you. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I just moved this down a little bit. The next question says, let P be the point where the graph intersects the y-axis. Okay, so that's right there, P. Um, write down the coordinates of P. Oh, okay, no problem. Well, we know, it, you know it's going to be on the y-axis, so the x value is 0. Now, where does it cross? Well, you just have to make x 0 here. So if this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, what are we left with? We're left with that. So the coordinate there is 0, 3. Um, Okay, so in, I mean, the last number is always the y-intercept. Uh, well, if it's, a, if it's a constant, it's always the y-intercept. Okay, so find the gradient. Now, this is where you use the, um, the derivative. So, you know, I wrote it down here. We can just we can plug, plug it in. Um, find, the, find the gradient of the curve at p. Okay, well, we'll just plug in the x value. So, uh, not too bad. You, so it's going to be 12 times 0 squared minus 18 times 0 minus 12. So, you know, um, our answer here is going to be negative 12. That's the gradient. Okay, now now it says write the, the line L is the tangent to the graph f of x at p. Okay, find the equation of L. Oh, well, no problem. We have the gradient here. This is m, the gradient. And then we have the y-intercept, which is c. 
So this would just be y equals negative 12x plus 3. So basically what they're saying is that, you know, at this point, there's this, you know, a line tangent like that. That's what we just found. That was a good line. Woo! All right, cool. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, and then finally the last thing here, and what I just do is I keep copying this graph down so you can see it. It says, there's a second point Q on the curve at which the tangent to f of x is parallel to L. Oh, parallel. Okay, so the minute they say parallel, you should know that the gradients are the same. Okay, so write down the gradient of the tangent at Q. Okay, well, it's going to be negative. It's going to be negative 12, because that's what it was. We just did one, right, which it was y equals negative 12x plus 3 on the previous problem. Right, so we know that the gradient's going to be the same. Okay, now calculate the x coordinate. Okay, well in this case, you know, we just have to take the derivative again, and our derivative was, let's see, it was 12x squared minus 18x minus 12. So we just have to um, make that equal to negative 12. Okay, so I'm just going to go negative 12 equals you know, 12x squared minus 18x minus 12. Now I'll solve this algebraically. I'll move the 12 over here so I actually get 0 plus 12x squared minus 18x. We can um, factor that. Now you can enter this in your calculator right away into polysmal, but I'm just going to do it this way. The, the greatest common factor here is 6x. Okay, so I'll take out a 6x and I'll get 2x minus uh, 3. Okay, so if you solve that, you know, you get, you know, 6x, oops, 6x equals 0, so, you know, x is going to equal 0 there, obviously. Well, we already knew that. That was right here. Okay, we're finding the other one. So it would be 2x minus 3 equals 0. So that's, you know, 2x equals 3, so x equals 3 halves, or 1 and a half. Okay, so um, that is the x-coordinate. So at 1 and a half, um, you know, at 1.5, you know, it's probably right here. It's going to have, you know, the same you know, tangent right there. It's going to be negative 12. So that's what you're doing there. Okay. Um, so, you know, what, what do you need to take out of this? You need to be able to do the derivative, um, find the derivative, know that it finds the gradient of, a, um, you know, the line that's tangent at that point. Um, you know, and then a lot of this comes down to algebra. Um, I'll, I'll put up another video. On, on calculus, just some other types of problems, but generally speaking, these are the types that you'll see. Um, so anyway, I hope this helped out. Uh, it can be, you know, kind of a confusing topic for some kids, but, um, you know, you, you keep, keep going at it, you'll do good. All right, or do well. Wow, that's awesome English. Good thing I'm a math teacher. Okay, take care. Have a good day.